Yes. <laughs> Dr. Mini in the house. All right. <laughs> I appreciate that. The carnivore diet. Because of the heat. Honestly, you've really touched my heart. We want our parents to be perfect and parents want their children to be perfect. And that is just not realistic. Perfection is right. not realistic. So Thank we get those realistic tendencies for ourselves, first of all, mm -hmm. then we can get with those realistic, those profession, professionistic, um, that professionistic reality for our children. And then we can actually start to love because love isn't perfect. Love is messy. It's sloppy. There's a lot of things that happen. And once we release that stronghold of perfection, once we release the stronghold mm. of judgment mm. and just learn to love ourselves unconditionally first, because you can't love your children or your partner unconditionally if you don't love yourself. And a lot of people are like, I love myself. Okay, you love yourself, but did you look in the mirror and frown? What what part of yourself did you look at and be like, oh, what part of you made you roll your eyes? And we're women, so we know we do this all the time. Right. I'll, I'll be the first to admit, oh, yeah. I am beautiful and I love myself, but sometimes I beat myself up. Sometimes yep. I give myself a hard time and I, I try to catch myself. It's like, girl, stop. Yep. Right. And we have to do this and we have to understand if we're doing it to ourselves, we are doing it to our partner, whether we say it or not, they can feel when we're like, Ooh, like, mm, like, you know, and our children can feel it too, mm. you know? So we, we first have to be careful about self-judgment and how much we judge ourselves and how much we shame ourselves and get ourselves. And once we do that, we can have more compassion for others. So there's this story and I know we've all heard the story about, you know, there, there are these two situations where um, you have fear and you have love. And if these were animals, which one is gonna stay with you? Mm. The one you feed the most. So mm. we are feeding and nurturing our fears because we're watching the news, we're watching the media and we, we keep going, okay, if this happened and this happened, fear. But what if we fed love? 